Live from South Victory, this is WFAA News. Well, another police shooting in North Texas is making national headlines. An officer in Fort Worth shot and killed a woman in her own home. Welcome to WFAA News at 530. I'm Chris Lawrence. Uh, the community is demanding answers for uh, Tatiana Jefferson's death. And in the last 30 minutes, Fort Worth PD updated us on the investigation. WFAA's Bradley Blackburn joins us live. Bradley, kind of wondering why they called this because they didn't provide very much information. Chris, this press conference was far shorter than we imagined, just a couple minutes long, and many of the facts that they went over they had already shared in a press release that was put out yesterday. But this was the first time that this department has appeared before cameras following this incident, and they did confirm a few important things. First, they said they confirmed what the family's attorney had already told us, that a Tatiana Jefferson's eight-year-old nephew was with her in the room when she was shot and killed, and they also confirmed that when officers arrived at that home for a welfare check, they did not announce their presence. They did not verbally say that they were police. Police did release the body cam from this incident yesterday, and it shows the responding officers looking through an open door and going along the side of a building. Um, and then that moment, just, a, just less than two seconds when the officer said, uh, gave his verbal command and then pulled the trigger. But at no time did he say who he was. Um, and uh, he, he never said that he was police. Uh, police did tell us that that why that happened and uh, and why this officer felt threatened will be addressed during an investigation. Let's listen to some of what Fort Worth police told us just a few minutes ago. The officer observed a person through a rear window in the in the residence and fired a shot at that person. The officer did not announce that he was a police officer prior to shooting. What the officer observed and why he did not announce police will be addressed as the investigation continues. There are more questions than answers at this point. Uh, Fort Worth police wrapped up this press conference pretty quickly. Initially, they had told us they weren't even going to take questions today, but then they opened the floor for questions. I did ask if they could explain why this officer felt threatened, if he had felt threat, if he had been threatened with a gun in any way. The department released two images of a weapon they say was found in the home, but police declined to answer my question as to why they released those images of a gun if they can't say whether the officer was threatened with it. Now, uh, they wrapped it up quickly, but they did say that the police chief, uh, Police Chief Krause, will appear at a press conference tomorrow to answer additional questions. The officer involved in this is also scheduled to be interviewed uh, by the major case unit tomorrow. So um, we are hoping to be able to ask more questions and get more answers from Fort Worth Police. But again, to confirm what they told us, the limited amount that they told us in this press conference today, this officer never explained who he was before he pulled the trigger. And we know that a Tatiana Jefferson's eight year old nephew was with her when she was shot and killed. Chris, back to you. All right, Bradley. Yeah, thank God that little boy is OK. And hopefully by tomorrow we get this officer's name. Thank you. In a